Once you've set up your website with some Roman cart add to basket buttons or hyperlinks, then you're probably going to want to think about setting up shipping and tax. This is the tax screen here. You get there by clicking on manage tax in the menu bar at the top and it's got a number of different options on it. Uh, the first one is whether your prices include tax. So obviously if your prices don't include tax then tax will be added on the basket page. Uh, whether you want to show total tax, if you're charging tax then normally you would want to show total tax and the default tax rate, in other words the rate at which all your products are going to be charged. Uh, so there's a number of other different things I need to mention at this point as well. If you've got different products which have different tax rates, then on the product manager, if we just go there now, manage products, each product has got a tax box there and you put in the percentage amount of tax that you want to charge on that product there. And if you want to charge different amounts of tax to people in different locations, then you need to use something called advanced tax. And you just click on this link here where it says click here for advanced tax and you can set tax by location and you can have up to six different tax bands for each location um, usually countries or states or regions in countries so there's a screencast that you can watch explaining tax on this screen here but uh, that's a general overview of how to set up a, a simple tax uh, requirement on Roman cart so now let's move on to shipping if we click on manage shipping this is the shipping screen so let's create a shipping method I'll click on add new method and we're going to create a really simple shipping method we'll call it next day and the simplest type of shipping on Roman cart is called basic shipping uh, so we'll select that as basic you can also have weight based shipping uh, automatically calculated shipping a uh, step shipping fixed and a uh, price based shipping as well and there's various other different options on this screen too but we'll use basic for this and we're going to keep all of the other options as they are we're going to make the shipping method available to customers in any location. You can set it if you want to specific countries or postcode areas in specific countries. And then we'll just click on save on that screen. So now you can see we've set up next day as our first shipping method and it's of type basic. So now if we go to the product in the product manager, click on the item code. In the shipping section in the product properties, you'll see there's now a shipping method there called next day. And you can enter the cost of that shipping method there. Let's just say it costs five pounds. Click on save. So now when I add that product to the basket, it's gonna add five pounds to the cost of shipping. So I'll just show you that now because I've set up a web page over here with an add to basket button on it to that product. So if I click on the button, you'll see that the cart page appears and the cost of shipping is five pounds and the current shipping is next day if you had other shipping methods then you'd be able to select them using that drop down box there so that's how to set up uh, shipping and tax uh, at a very simple level on roman cart you can make it much more complicated if you want by setting up all sorts of other different uh, parameters to the shipping methods and different shipping method types and using advanced tax to have uh, tax by different regions but if you just want to if you're just setting up a, a really simple store then that's how to get started with shipping and tax